Hey crew, how you doing? We are here for the 24 minute high intensity track workout. Lindsay's gonna start her warm up right now and so can you. Here's a quick little update. If you need to set up your tracks, we are starting with the low track. So get your track down, multi bar on the low track. If you haven't already, do it right now. Once you're all set up, ready to go, get that body in motion. Linz, what I want you to do, put those hands on your hips now, flexion extension. You can see that Linz is working through her hinge pattern right now, making sure her glutes are firing up, making sure her whole body gets activated today. Let's go into some rotations in that hip, right? So we're gonna go up and around and work through your hips as you go through. A lot of times we don't get enough hip activity going on and we need to because we're gonna crank this out for a fast pace, 24 minutes. We have two more minutes of a warm up, so let's get that body loosened up. Linz, let's go right into a knee hug where we're just gonna grab that knee, pull our body right in, feeling good, making sure we're stretching out those hamstrings, the quads, the whole nine yards. All right, let's keep that moving. How are you feeling? Your heart rate starting to come up? That's where we need you to go. Let's do a little bit more arm swings now, loosening up the shoulders. This is exactly what we wanna see. What I love seeing is your thumb coming up and as you rotate coming down, the other one's going up as well. And you're gonna be rotating your thumb up and then rotating it down. All right, it's a subtle little coaching cue, but it does help loosen up that glenohumeral joint and your shoulders. Lynn, you ready for some quick little standing mountain climbers just for the next 30 seconds? No, we're gonna stand up. Stand up for a second. Here we go. We need to get that heart rate up just a little bit more standing mountain climbers. There we go. We're gonna do this for 30 seconds. Now, Lynn's already showcased a little bit of where we're going. We are gonna go into mountain climbers down on the low track in really about 10 seconds from here. So be ready to go and we're gonna fire this through, all right? The workout here is gonna really bring together four minute blocks. All right, Linz, your heart rate's up. I know you're feeling good. Drop down to the low track right here. We're gonna give you about five seconds to get down there. Are you ready to go? In five, four, three, two, let's go. We here are gonna stabilize our core. You can see Linz, she has a nice tight core. Her knees driving forward. We're gonna go for 30 seconds doing this one movement. If you wanna go a little bit faster, you can. If you need to slow it down and do more of a march, you can. This is all up to you, but we're gonna start bringing our heart rate up. In five seconds, we're gonna go right into some groiners. So in three, two, one, let's go into a groiner stretch. What does that look like? You can see what Lindsay's doing here. She's bringing her foot on the outside of her pinky. That modified track, which is actually flipped right now. And if you do need a little bit more modification, you can flip it over or flip it under however you want it to be on the lower track. But you're opening up your hips. We're taking this as a nice stretch. Let's go for about one or maybe even two more on each side before we stand up, all right? Let's go in three, in two, in one. I want us all to stand up, shake it out a little bit. How you feeling, Linz? Yeah? We're gonna now go right into a foot tap. The foot tap, we're gonna put one foot up on top of the multi-bar, and we're gonna go brace your core. 30 seconds here, I want you to work your arms, high knee drive, and making sure that we are getting this heart rate up. It's a little bit of our conditioning work right here. So fire through, stabilize your core, have minimal, minimal taps right there on top of that multi-bar. Your heart rate's getting up, I know it is. I can hear Lindsay's heart rate starting to elevate. I can feel her energy coming up and that's exactly what I wanna see you guys do. I wanna see us go for another five seconds doing as best you can. Then we get a small little breather and a little bit of a rest. In three, two, one, relax. If you need to stretch out a little bit more, please do. If you ever need to take a breather, please do. And if you feel faint or dizzy, please step away. Come back when you're ready. And always consult a doctor if you feel as though you might not be able to do this, all right? But guess what? In 10 seconds, we're gonna repeat this whole entire quick circuit. Are you ready? Bring up the intensity, dial it up a notch, and let's go after it. 
drop right back down for those mountain climbers. Are you ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Look at this. Lindsay's gonna bring her energy up just a little bit more because she knows this is the only last time. This is the last time she's gonna be doing her mountain climbers. She's driving her knee forward, staying strong. We talked about this earlier too. There's always ways to modify. So if you need to modify, either going slower, faster, you wanna add a little push up in there, you totally can. Are you ready to go back to the groiners? Ready? Let's switch it up in three, two, one. Let's go. See how the groiner is? This is where you can potentially catch your breath. But watch how Lindsay's gonna add a little bit of a twist to her groiner to add a little bit more of that stretch. She brings one foot out as close as you can to the pinky. Then she opens up to the knee that is up near the multi-bar. You see how that works? Excellent. Maybe you wanna give that a try. Get that extra little stretch. Totally your call. Feeling good? You guys ready to move on? Excellent. Make sure that you're evened off on those groiners and stand right up. We're gonna go right into that foot tap again. You remember that foot tap? This is where we wanna elevate your heart rate. Let's go. Pumping the elbows back. We got 30 seconds. Can you give yourself 30 seconds out of this first block? I know you can. The warm up is over. Your high intensity work starts right now, if it hasn't already. All right, come on, come on. Dig it out, dig it out. Beautiful work, Linz. How you feeling? Yeah, pumping the arms back. You can see she's working her whole entire body from head to toe, literally, she's working. Because in three, two, one, you can relax. Excellent job, that was your first block. Now, here's the big thing. We're gonna keep the track on that low track for this second block. We're gonna start getting into two movements that are gonna be for 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. And we're gonna go through that two times. The first exercise will be a push-up. We're gonna start the push-up in about 10 seconds but let's get you all set up, ready to go. So many modifications. If you need to, you can go on your knees. If you need to, you can bring it up to a track if you need to. But these push-ups, however you're gonna do it, is gonna start in five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go. So here, you wanna make sure that your shoulders are over your wrists, right? As you're here in this modified push-up, as we can, have the multi-bar elevated, right? In either position, in the up position or in the low position, you wanna fire out as many push-ups as possible. We only have, right now, 15 more seconds. And if you need to take a breather and stop, you can. You're trying to do as many reps as you can within the 45 seconds. If you can survive the 45 seconds, awesome. But maximize your effort. We only have five, four, three, two, one, please relax. Take 15 seconds to shake out your arms. How are those arms feeling? Yeah? Hey, guess what? We're going to modify burpees now. Why? We're gonna maximize that upper body push and get your whole entire body involved in this one movement. Are you ready for those modified burpees? I know Lindsay, are. <laughs> Lindsay is, and I know you are too. Ready? Let's go, 45 seconds. Look at how Lindsay's doing this. She is shooting up with her arms, She's bracing her core, doing another push-up. And if you don't want to do an extra push-up, all you have to do is just throw those legs out and bring them right back in, just like how Lindsay's modifying it right now. Either way is great because you're bringing yourself to your level of intensity right now. And if you're feeling like this is too easy, then rev it up. If you want to bring it back down a little bit, please take a breather and do so as best you can. You gotta train with intention and train with high intensity effort. And this is exactly what's happening. Cause in three, two, one, you can breathe. Oh boy, the sweat is starting for Lynn. She's feeling good. Guess what? That was round one. We're going to round two now, doing the same exact movement. I know your upper body's killing you. Those arms, they're gonna be sore, but do this best you can. And that's all you ever have to ask yourself. Are you ready? Here we go. Rest is over. 45 seconds of your push-up. Let's do it. Hit it up. Come on, come on. We're gonna see if Lindsay can hit 15 plus push-ups in a matter of 45 seconds. Why? Because I know how Lindsay trains and I know how you train too. You can bring it to a whole nother level so you can maximize 
your results. And that is the goal for everything that we're trying to do here today, now, and forever, right? So let's go five more seconds, four, three, two, and one. Haha, <laughs> beautiful. 15 seconds to rest. And I want you to use it. Now, of course, we have clients all the time that say, I don't want to use my rest. That's fine. If you want to run in place, jump side to side, you can. But always take a breather if you need to. Because guess what? Your modified burpees are coming up in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Right? Push it in. Those arms are hurting, Linz. I know they are. If you can continue to do another push up, continue to go through the full range of motion. But the name of the game here is to do your best. I love it. You guys are killing it. Work your heart rates up. Know you are getting better today for tomorrow, right? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Give me another 10 seconds. 10 more seconds here. Can you give me at least three more? Come on, I know you can. Because in five, four, three, two, and one, you can breathe. Excellent job, Lindsay. You feeling it? I love it. See, when Lindsay finishes up the workout, I love seeing her face because she's smiling, but she's dying inside. And so might you be. But that's all right. You just finished this second block. Now, what I want to see us do right here is we're going to take a little bit of a breather and lock in those toes underneath. We're going to do a full sit up right here. Okay. So we're going to go fall right back and we're going to add this core sequence now. Are you ready? For 45 seconds, full sit up. Ready? And let's go. Here, we're going to just focus a little bit on core. I know we just blasted out our strength side and a little bit of that conditioning. Now we're going to throw in a little bit of our core. Lindsay is just going to do her nice full sit up. If this feels good for you, awesome. Then let's keep it there. If you feel like it's hurting your back, maybe you just want to do another modified core exercise, please feel free to do so right now. But we love the fact that this multibar allows you to lock your toes in, take the pressure off your hip flexors, and get it all into your core. I want to see us do 10 more seconds, okay? Can you stay with me? Maybe if you want to modify it too, you can add a weight at one point where you hold the weight in your hand and you can maximize the full sit up. Hey, maybe that works, all right? But it's all about full sit up, work in that core. You guys can relax right here. How does that feel? <laughs> She's like, yes, perfect job. What I want to see right now is this. We're going to take a quick 30 second breather so you can switch your track from the low track to your mid track. All right, you're going to go right to the middle track, just like what you see Lindsay doing here. Now, take your time doing it. We'll shake it out. If your track is in, awesome. Start jogging it up. I want to see us starting to jog it up a little bit, keeping your cardio up. If you want to go back into this little movement that we we're doing in the warm up, you can run like Lindsay and I are. We're going to take the next 30 seconds to just work a little bit more core while I know you're adjusting your track up to the top. So I want to make sure everyone's with us and I want to make sure that you take your time adjusting your track to the middle track. Now, what's gonna happen, just like the first group that we did, we did a lot of higher intensity cardio work, which is what we're gonna do here. We're gonna do some modified reverse lunges, right? We're gonna do some dip pops, and then we're gonna do kind of a difficult exercise that's called the single leg alternating squat pop. All right, so is everyone set? Is everyone ready to go? We're gonna take these three exercises I just mentioned, and we're gonna go 30 seconds each one. You guys ready? The first one for 30 seconds, starting right now, is the reverse lunge alternating. Now we say this is modifying because we are using the multi-bar to help us out so we can get full range of motion through the whole entire body and maximize this length and muscle activation. So let's go, another 10 seconds. You can go as fast or as smooth as you want. Remember, this is not about reps. This is about your effort, okay? This is about your effort and how you can bring it. And we can relax, all right? Feeling good? Shake out those legs. Now, for this first round of all these new exercises, we are going to hold up for about 15 seconds just so you know which exercise is coming up next. So if you want to jog in between these, 
for his first round, you totally can. We're going to be doing the dip pop next. Watch how Lindsay does this dip pop. If you know the dip pop and you feel confident with it, start popping away. Because in about five seconds, four seconds, we're going to go for 30. In three, two, one, let's go. You can see how Lindsay's popping, dipping, popping up, working the backside of her arms for her triceps. We need to see that happen right now. Are you feeling it? Awesome. If you don't have as much strength to drive off the ground like Lindsay does, focus on the jump here. Brace your core. We love the pops because it gives you that excitement of all the muscles coming together. Firing it through for another five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful breathe. How'd that feel? That gets you. I'm telling you, getting those pops, getting those jumps, no matter how you can do it, boom, you know you're feeling it. Here is one of our harder exercises out of this sequence, which is a single leg squat jump pop, if you would. What we want to see is this. You're going to, and again, if you feel confident, get started with it. You want to go with a single leg squat and then kind of drive up and switch to the opposite leg. Yeah, it is difficult when you eccentrically load down and you feel your body getting those muscles working, right? Don't land stiff. If this is hard, and we're going to get started right here for the 30 seconds, don't worry. It's all good. We'll maximize it. Lindsay's going to yell at me because she's going to be going for about 45 here. You can put your foot down on the ground as a modification. Yes, it seems very similar to the reverse lunge, but it doesn't have to be, especially put the effort with that jump up to explode over to the side. We only have five more seconds to crank this out in three, in two, in one. I want you to relax. How did that feel? All right. So you can see this sequence of work right now can really get hard if you bring that deliberate practice and that training with intention that we talk to you guys about so much with everything that we do. We're going to go right back and hit all of these exercises again, and let's go fast paced with minimal transition time and get that heart rate up. You ready? 30 seconds with the reverse lunge is going to start in three, two, one, let's go. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Oh, looking good, Linz, looking good. How are you feeling? I know you're working it over there. Let's go for five more seconds, four more seconds. You got this, three, two, one. Hey, I told you, no transition time. 30 seconds, right to the dip pops. Why? Because we can, and I know you're good for it. Push your body hard, do what you can with what you got, and get the results that you want today and fight for who you want to be tomorrow right here and it starts with these dip pops here come on come on doing a little bit more than what you think you can 30 seconds is already started because you only have 10 more seconds remaining before we end up going to that single leg squat pop right so in five in four give me a few more three two one yes excellent job now, if you need a breather, you take it, but guess what? This 30 seconds is gonna come right at you, right here, right now. Drive this single leg, squat pop, make it work. Modify what you need. Come on, come on. Can you bring it? Dig it out. You see how Lindsay's doing it. You know how you gotta modify it. So please do what you can and push that effort. We only have a few more minutes left in this 24 minute workout. I know you're good for it. Let's go. In three, in two, in one, relax. Gorgeous job, all right? Now, in this 15 second breather right here, what I want us to do is a great core exercise. Remember how we added those full sit-ups? Well, guess what? We're gonna now hit the backside posterior chain with a hanging, yep, we're gonna hang our arms, sitting your butt right down. Let's start getting into that position now. I know your heart rate's going up. We're gonna hold on to this mid track, right? And now feet 90 degrees, right? And you're gonna drive your hips up. We're gonna hammer this out for 45 seconds. We're gonna start this in three, two, and one. Grab the bar, multi bar here. This is called our hanging glute bridge. She's driving and squeezing her glutes. She's making a flat back here, 
bracing her midsection, but squeezing her hips up and through. This is part of your core. Just because it's not your abs firing does not mean it's not your core. Your core is literally everything from your rib cage almost down all the way to your knees, right? And it's everything, top, bottom, front, side. Keep it going. 10 more seconds. How's that glute feeling, right? Squeeze it. Pause it up at the top. Make this happen and fire it through. Can you do it? Because in five, four, three, two, one. Excellent job right there. That was awesome. Great job, Linz. How you feeling? Feeling good? All right. Guess what? Second block, it's actually our third block now, is done. And guess what? It's time to move our track. We are going to move our track from the mid track to the high track. You ready? Let's take about 30 seconds to do so. Go for it right now. As you can see, Lindsay's tired. She's feeling good, <laughs> right? We have really less than really eight minutes remaining, which includes the cool down too. So you're almost there. But now we're at this top track. We are gonna get into a little bit more high intensity strength work because we're gonna do your jumping pull-ups. Now you might notice Linz actually has the bar coming down. So if depending on your height and those things, we want you to be able to grab the bar with your hands while having your feet on the ground. We're gonna be doing a jump pull. If you can do pull-ups, crank them out like crazy. But here we go, ready? We're gonna hit 45 seconds doing the jump pull. This is the 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. We need to bring your intensity and it starts now. So let's go, come on. Big jumping pulls, you can see she lets her full body come down and pulling straight up. She braces his, her core, she jumps. If you need to, more jump is fine. Let's go for it. Is there any modification that you need to do to allow this to help, to allow this to happen for you? You can see that Lindsay's getting a little tired and there's still 10 seconds remaining. I can only imagine you're getting tired too. If you need to shake out your arms, you do so. If you can stay with 45 seconds, that's amazing. We only have five, four, three, two, and one. Guess what? Do you have your bands ready? I know, I didn't tell you. So if you need to quickly grab your bands, please do. But what we want you to do is wrap your bands around your multi-track, all right? And watch how Lindsay's gonna do this. She's gonna go with a banded pull with a reverse lunge, all right? So here's how we wanna do this second exercise. The 45 seconds is gonna start right now Hopefully that gave you enough time to grab your bands to get that pull going. She's using the green band. Maybe you have the blue or even the red band that you want to use, and that's totally up for you. But I can tell you right now, Lindsay's strong. She can do it. You're strong. Make sure that that band is strong enough that you feel that pull and allows you to add some speed to it as it pulls you back up. Can you go for another 15 seconds? Do what you can, what you got. We're almost there, crew. Come on, you guys are looking great. I know you're pushing yourself hard. We're gonna go through these two movements again. And in five, four, three, two, one, relax, breathe. Push those bands up against the wall, get them out of your way, because we are gonna go back to the jump pulls in less than 10 seconds. Grab a quick drink if you need it. But we only have really about four minutes remaining, five minutes remaining max. You ready? Let's do it. Grab the bar, jump, jump, and pull. Let's do it. You're looking good. Love it. Come on, crew. See you right through that screen right now. I know you're pushing yourself. I know you're jumping and pulling. I know you're grinding it out. What more can you do? You see that light at the end of the tunnel. You know the workout's finishing. You know you're gonna push yourself to the finish line. Don't just get there. Pass it. Break that line. Let's go, Linz. You still have another 15 seconds. Let's see if Linz can get five more. Come on, that's one for her. That's two for her. Three, two, and one. Beautiful crew. 
I know Lindsay's working hard. She's sweating right now, and I know you are too. No transition time. Grab those bands. Get after it. Make those legs burn. And if they're not burning yet, whew, you better make them happen. You better push it hard because we only got two minutes remaining that is going to push you beyond your comfort zone to make sure that you can maximize the time right here, right now. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Dig it out. Look at this form. Her knee is not going over her toe. Her leg is getting good and stretched down. Her knee is almost smashing the ground. You want to get it to either like just kiss the ground, right? Come on, come on, come on. Can you go for another five, four? We're almost there. Three, two, and one. Relax. Beautiful job right there. Excellent work. We're not done yet. Why? Because I'm going to have Linz grab that bar and she's going to do a hanging knee lift because we're going to finish this really with a little bit of core. Are you ready? Let's go. Grab the bar here. We're going to go. Knees come up. Now she's alternating her knees. She's bringing both knees. They're hitting the ground. How can you do this hanging knee lift? There's so many different modifications that you can do, but where can you bring yourself? There's even a point where her feet don't even need to hit the ground. She can do it where her feet are off the ground and just do full hanging knee lifts. We are only going to do this for the next 10 seconds. We're kind of maximizing the 45 right here. All right, maximizing this 45 seconds, finishing off with core before we get to a cool down and stretch. So let's go for another five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. <laughs> Lindsay's arms are feeling it. Your arms are feeling it. Your whole body is feeling it. What we want to do right here as you just finished that 24 minute high intensity sequence is to stretch it out. Take the next couple minutes that we have right here as you finished off the hard 24 high intensity work and stretch our body out. It is so critical to just de-stress our body after a high intensity workout. We don't do it enough and so many people end up just doing high intensity, shut the camera off and go into their high stress lives and everything is just enhanced with stress. You guys just killed it during this workout. So now let's take a couple minutes dropping down putting the track back down to the bottom track. And then again, if you need to put it anywhere you need to get a stretch out for you. But what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna stretch out our lats. We're gonna go into this child's pose with our hands up here on the track, really feeling good to stretch out the lats. You can breathe, right? Big inhale, big exhale. Allow your body to start relaxing. Get that sympathetic nervous system to come down and use that parasympathetic nervous system to relax your body. So you can see Lynn, she's here, child's pose. She can go into a cobra position where she drops her hips down into the bar, really bracing her core, not hyperextending her back, but just getting a nice full stretch through her abdominals while getting a nice stretch on her backside as well. So here, we're gonna close off today by just knowing that you can stretch, you can breathe, you can get your hamstrings going, and know that you just got better today. And that is the number one key, is whether you're going high, medium, or low, high intensity, strength, core conditioning, you maximize the time that you have here with us today and get better, even 1% better than yesterday to challenge yourself for your goals. Excellent job. Again, my name is Anthony. This is Linz. We are your Sacked Up crew and we love you all. So keep coming back for more amazing programs. And thank you so much. Enjoy the day. Take care. Beautiful work. Excellent stuff right there.